Hello. A couple days ago when the stores were out of, Sheila's told me a little slower and a little quieter. So a couple of days ago when the stores were out of English muffins, Sheila wanted some, so I made her some. Uh, she posted it on a line and a couple friends said that uh, they would like to learn how to do it. So Anna and Kathy, this is for you. Now your ingredients for the English muffins are one and a quarter cups of warm water, 105 to 115 degrees, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of yeast, two tablespoons of oil. You could use melted butter, but I used oil. It calls for two and three quarters cups of flour. I used three plus because it was a little bit wet at just two and three quarters. And then one teaspoon of salt and then cornmeal or grits for dusting the English muffin. I get all that uh, items together. That's called mise en place. So it's all ready for when you want to cook. Uh, I did all that last night. So I took the warm water and sugar in this container. I stirred it up and sprinkled the yeast on top. And then I let it sit covered for 10 minutes. That was proofing the yeast. After that 10 minutes, I added the oil and the salt to this mixture, stirred it up. I had the flour in my mixer bowl and I poured the, uh, this water in and then put the dough hook on and I let it stir for two minutes. Uh, after it stirred for two minutes, I scraped the sides down and then I'm looking at my mixer over there. Uh, and then I turn it up on medium for five minutes. After that five minutes with the dough hook, uh, it was then still pretty sticky, so I, I oiled my hands, I scraped it out, and I put it into an oil bowl and left it overnight in the refrigerator so it could develop flavor. If you're in a hurry, you could just leave it at room temperature for 10 minutes, and then you could uh, um, start where we're gonna start right now. So I'm gonna oil up my hands so that the dough doesn't stick, and I'm gonna take the dough out. Whoops, I'm gonna put it out, floured surface down here. And this is on the counter, so a floured surface, because this is still pretty sticky. I'm gonna take the dough out, and what I'm also deflating it while I do this. There is the dough, and you can see it's still pretty sticky. So I take the dough, I'm gonna move it around just a couple times and knead it just a little bit and get some flour on the outside of it. And I'm gonna divide it into eight to 10 pieces. I'm gonna divide it into eight pieces. That's the easiest way for me. So I'm gonna use my bench scraper. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna cut those pieces then in half. and then cut those pieces in half. I now have eight dough pieces. And I'm gonna shape those into one inch patties. I have a prepared rimmed cookie sheet. That's what I call it. I think it's also called a jelly roll pan. These are not perfect, but then everyone knows that I didn't buy them at the store. And I have some cornmeal on those. I like lots of cornmeal on mine. The cornmeal also help to keep it from sticking. I'm gonna use a little more flour. And I'll make these. I'm gonna do 10 of these. You can see I'm not a professional baker. So I'm gonna do 10 of these. And I'm going to come back after I have the, the 10, after I do the eight or 10, I think it's eight, I'm going to cover them and let them rest at room temperature for 20 minutes and they'll rise again. And after that 20 minutes, I'll come back. Okay, we are back. And since I turned it off a moment ago, I let the eight discs of dough rest for 20 minutes. They've puffed up a little bit. I'll take it and take a look at them here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And they're not, they're not very regular. I then have um, three discs already in the, Eng in the uh, electric skillet, and that's on 300 degrees. So there's a total of eight of them, and I, you'd probably get by with um, 
doing even more uh, and they'll be a little bit smaller than they were or than they are now. So they've been in now for almost eight minutes and I'm going to take a, I'm just going to check to see if they are slightly browned on the bottom and they are slightly browned on the bottom. So I'm going to turn them over, turn them over and cook them for another five to eight minutes. And let me get the camera and show you what they look like. So there they are. You can see them are brown. You can see the cornmeal look kind of like they do in the store, but not really the way they do in the store. Those are, I, I'm not an exact person. And so those are pretty much done. We've now made three English muffins. I have five more to go and I'll just repeat the process after the five minutes there. I'm then gonna take the English muffin and instead of cutting them with a knife, oh, I'm gonna put them on this wire rack so they can cool, they'll cool for about 15 minutes or so. And then instead of cutting them with a knife, I take two forks and go around the outside breaking it open and it helps to improve the nooks and crannies. This is the instructional video on making an English uh, muffin and and Sheila's foil? starting to tell me something. Did so you put a little bit of foil in the bottom of the pan? I didn't put any foil or anything in the oil. bottom of the pan. I did put, oh, I'm sorry, the English, uh, the uh, electric skillet was oil. So, and I'm going to post the directions down below when I post this on YouTube. Okay, bye-bye.